would you be free from your pardon of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. to say good evening to each and every one this evening. We're real happy to be able to come into your home tonight and as usual sing some of these old songs. We've probably we've did a lot of them over and over again and uh, I hope you don't get tired of hearing them because we sure don't get tired of singing them. And um, If, if uh, you're out there tonight and have a prayer request or song request, why the number's there on the bottom of the screen, why just call it in. And, Millie's in there. will be glad to take your call. The next song we have is When the Saints Go Marching In. Get them old guitars out and sharpen them up and sing along with us. I'm just, just a weary pilgrim Walking through this world of sin Getting red saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord I want to be in that number, when the saints go marching in. Steps will be more steady when the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Saints go marching in. 
I think at this time I'll ask Ron if he won't come and lead us in a word of prayer. Our precious Heavenly Father, again, Lord, we thank you for another day that you've given us to live with him. We thank you for love, kindness, and understanding that you always show us. And again, Lord, we thank you because you've always stood beside us in our daily walk with you and strengthened us, Lord, to the things that we have done for you. And we just pray tonight, Lord, that the things that we do and the things that we see you accomplish in our lives will bring us faith, that we'll have things accomplished, Lord, that we can have greater faith that will lead us in our life, make us a stronger witness for you, and help others, Lord, in their lives. As we know these turn in, we have to encourage each other. And we ask, Lord, to give us leadership and the fellowship to let us do this. Uh, now we ask you to be with those in the hospitals, nursing home, those who are sick at home and things that went through some hard times, Lord, even financial or whatever. Even those, Lord, who have family problems. We know, Lord, that in our lives that we've seen you do all kind of things and in, in, in taking care of people's problems. And you proved to me, Lord, in my life that you can handle any problem that comes up. So I know and give you praise and glory for what you've done for me. I ask you to be with us the rest of the service tonight and when each thing we do, so the rest of the songs we sing and, and the ministry tonight, Lord, it all will bring praise and glory for your name. All this will give you praise. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We'd like to bring your program out tonight to all those in the hospital this evening and been in the hospitals and... Uh, in fact, we've got some missing from us here tonight. Uh, Keith, he had to have a knee operated on. Wanda's man, he had a, his toe cut off yesterday morning, so she's not able to be with us. But um, we're here tonight to bring you some of these old songs that we loved, like I said a while ago, that we love to sing. We'd like to bring our program tonight out to those in the rest homes this evening and over to High Rise and so many places, you know, where... People uh, depend on us to be there, and uh, it's just great to sing these old songs about Jesus Christ. The next song we have for you to sing is a sweet by and by. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. Sing on that beautiful shore The melodious songs of the blessed And the Spirit shall sorrow no more I'll decide for the blessings of rest In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by, and by. We shall meet on that beautiful shore In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by, and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore To our bountiful Father above We will offer our tribute of praise Sings that hallow our days in the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by. But in order to beat on that beautiful sore, you know, got to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. 
Keep that thought in your mind here tonight. And if you don't know him as Lord and Savior, why, we beg of you tonight to get to know him. The next song we have for you this evening is Where Could I Go But To The Lord. Living below in this so simple world Hardly a comfort can afford Striving alone to face temptation so Where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to save me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Neighbors are kind, I love you. song, Where Could I Go But To The Lord, uh, Leaning On The Everlasting Arms. Hey, Lynn, why don't you check and see if we got any song requests coming a little bit. Fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Secure from all alarms, leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all Peace. 
peace with my Lord so near, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. We'd like to bring that song there out to Bob and Janice this evening. Uh, they're another one that's uh, had a little bit of problems here this week. and. Uh, Anyhow, we miss him from being on the program this evening and many other times. <clears throat> Next song we have for you this evening is Come and Dine. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people, come and dine. With his man on either feet and supplies our every need. Go to sleep to sup with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, the master called it, come and dine. He may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed molded to turn the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and dine. Disciples came to land, thus obeying Christ's command. For the pastor called them to the come and dine. They lay down their hearts devour, bread and fish upon the farm. Thus he satisfied the hungry every time. Come and dine, the master called, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He fed the bottle to turn water into wine. You are hungry, call it now, come and dine. Send the lamb to take his bride to be ever right his side. All the host of heaven will assemble be. All the glory and glory inside, all the saints and spotless white, and with Jesus they will feast eternally. Come and dine, the master call it, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude. Turn the water into wine, do the hungry call it now, come and dine. We have one more song for the choir to do here this evening, and this is one that's <clears throat> been around for a long time. Jesus, hold my hand, and we'd like to send that out to Emma Zicka <coughs> this evening. <coughs> As I travel, travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely to the seeking sand, it is the Christ of Calvary. This will be my prayer, dear Lord, each day help me do the best I can. So Jesus, hold my hand. So Jesus, hold my hand. Hold my hand. I miss you every every hour. Through this land, through the land, round and round, I stand here. Keep 
me that I may be holy than and sing redemption songs someday. I will be a soldier brave and through heaven from me take a stand. As I onward go and daily meet the foe, blessed Jesus, hold my hand. set you free. He's the only one that can cleanse and make you whole. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's more than a story. He is King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's the counselor. He resurrected me. The everlasting Father, He is King of glory. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. I told all my troubles goodbye, goodbye to this world in the side. This world where I roam cannot be my own. I'm bound for a land in the sky. I walk and I talk with my Lord. I feast every day on his word. Well, heaven is near and I can't stay here. Goodbye, world, goodbye. Now don't you weep for me when I'm gone. Well, I won't have to leave here alone. And when I hear that light from the sound, my feet won't stay on the ground. I'm gonna rock with the shot, gonna fly. 
I'll ride with my Lord to the sky Well, heaven is near and I can't say here Goodbye, world, goodbye <coughs> well, I won't have the blues anymore When I reach across to that shore And I'll never pine for all leave behind My heart aches and tears forevermore a day maybe to then goodbye Tomorrow I'll rise up and fly Well heaven is near and I can't stay here Goodbye world goodbye Now don't you weep for me when I'm gone Well I won't have to leave here alone And when I hear that last rubbing sound my feet gonna stay on the ground, gonna ride with the sound, gonna fly. I'll ride with my Lord to the sky. Well, heaven is near and I can't stay here. Goodbye, world, goodbye. Goodbye, world, goodbye. Good evening, everyone. We're having a little trouble with our voices here this evening. And we're trying to split it up as much as we can. Good to be here, good to be where we're talking about the Lord, singing songs about the Lord. We want to give Him the praise for everything because He's in control of everything we do. And he gives us so many blessings and I'm just so thankful that for that. Try this. Many years I've been looking for a place to call home, but I failed here to find it, so I must travel home. I don't care for financial corner sinking sand, for it built me a cabin in the corner of Holy Land. Just build me just a cabin in the corner of Holy Land In the shade of that tree of life that it may ever stand Where I can just hear the angels sing and shake Jesus' hand Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of Holy Land Blessed Lord, I'm not asking to live in the mist for I know I'm not worthy of such splendor as this But I'm asking for mercy while humbly I stand Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of Glory Land Yes, build me just a cabin in the corner of Glory Land In the shade of that tree of life that it may ever stand where I can just hear the angels sing and shake Jesus' hand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. I've many dear loved ones who've gone on this way. On a great final morning shall I hear them all say, Come join in our singing and play in our band. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of Glory Land. Yes, build me just a cabin in the corner of Glory Land. In the shade of that tree of life that it may ever stand. Where I can just hear the angels sing and shake Jesus' hand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of Glory Land. Yes, build me a cabin in the corner of Glory Land. <clears throat> Looks like he's going to quit on that one there. <laughs> well, we're glad to, to for him to sing us at least one anyhow. And you know, there's been a lot of talk about that, give me a cabin in the corner of Glory Land, but you know, I'd be very much satisfied with just a cabin, you know. That, uh, it's uh, it's not not hard to please when it comes to thinking about our place called heaven. I know he says he's gone to prepare a mansion for us, and <clears throat> got the Canis land is just in sight. Birds of the red God 
his children for he years he led them, them through the cold and through the night all the settlers turned their bones and said keep going Canaan's land is just in sight. What was that? Who was you supposed to give a song to? Do you remember? Uh, Wilson Osborne. Wilson Osborne. She's kind of got a horsey here, Wilson, so we'll have to do this one here for you. Precious years are memories. All that joy they bring to Sometime in my memories, my mind goes back to the old country church where I attended as a boy. Why, well, it seems only yesterday my dad took my hand and led me down that long road to the old country church to hear the word of the Lord. And according to my Sunday school teacher, God was supposed to be everywhere. And you know, I seem to feel His presence there in the old church more strong than any place else I'd ever known. With the humming of the bees and the singing of the birds coming through the windows, I knew that God was with me. I knew it just as sure as he'd laid his hand on my shoulder and said, welcome to my house, son. But the years have come and gone. Time has brought many heartaches and tears. I've seen my loved ones pass to the great beyond. I've watched them grow with the sad heart and tear-dimmed eyes. After all these years, walking again through the grass in the old country church, I view the vinyl resting place of my friends, and I'm comforted that their rest is a peaceful one. Once again, I seem to hear the Good Shepherd say, Welcome to the old country church. I'd like to send that out tonight to <clears throat> Max Reed and Avis this evening, and <clears throat> as we sing that many times. I happen, I can't help but think about the old Mount Hope Church up there in the trees, and that's my first place that ever went to church, and has a lot of fond memories. Tim's going to come in here now and give me the prayer request. Why don't you get this thing right now? He's going okay. He's got the prayer request in there. So you you gonna just covered, take, uh, covered, covered. You gonna sing a song? How about that long black train? <laughs> 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 
There's a long black train coming down the line Beating off the souls that are lost in crime Real love seeing only evil remain Watch out brother for that long black train Look to the heaven, you can look to the sky You can find redemption starting right back in your eye There is protection, there is peace of saint Burn your tickets for that long black train How do you know there's victory in the Lord, I say Victory in the Lord Cling to the Father and He's old Making you wonder if the right is worth the pain He's just so waiting on your heart to say Let me ride on that long black train But you know there's victory in the Lord I say Victory in the Lord Cling to the Father and He's old Let's go riding on that long black train. Let's go riding on that long black train. Cut it short since you got here already. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have several prayer requests here to take care of, and we're kind of short-handed this evening. We miss not having all of them here this evening, and <clears throat> we have several prayer requests here to take care of, and. Like I've said so many other times, that uh, time and each and every one of you can have a part in our program this evening. I know there's many people out there tonight and feel like it's, well, there's nothing I can do. I can't go to church no more, and I can't get out no more, but here's something you can do. And it is very dear, very special to us to know that you're out there praying for these people and praying for us. We appreciate it very much. We also appreciate each and every one that takes a part in keeping this program going tonight. And We've never had to beg for money and I just thank the good Lord for it this evening. And special prayers for Paul Zikafus, Bobby Lynn Thompson, Cat Channel, May Collins and family, Gene Starr, Edna Maxwell, Ronnie Collins and Lonnie and Debbie Page, Mary Godfrey, Raymond and Barbara Mackey, Connie Tiffany, Thelma Carpenter, Opal Hill, Virgie Sanders, Bob and Janice, Opal Page, Stella Wright, Julie McDaniels, David Rowan, And David Rowan Sr. And Leroy Bennett and Judy Bender. <clears throat> we want to send the prayers out tonight to Jay Harper, too. I'm sure that uh, I don't know if he's got out of the hospital yet, but I'm sure he needs our prayers here tonight. Our Lord and our God, as we pause here this evening, we want to thank you, Lord Father, that you've given us this opportunity, Lord, to come into the homes of so many different people. Father, we know, oh God, we're not worthy, Father, and we know, Father, we're singing about the one, Lord, that is worthy tonight, Lord. Now, God, we pray that you'd be with these different ones that need you tonight, Father. And Lord, we know, God, that uh, many of them, Father, has done all they can do on their own, Lord, and possibly maybe the the doctors have done all they can do. And Lord, there's Jim Lips, oh Father, and and Father Jim Ball, Lord, and, and their preacher, O oh God. And Father, so many more, O oh Lord, that we, we have to put on a list, O oh God, that you need to know about. We know, Father, you already know about them, O oh God. And we pray that your help would be with them, O oh Father. Now be with Tim, O oh God, as he comes to bring the message here this evening. God, give him what is needed, Father, to go out into the land, Father, and... Father, may they heal the land, O oh God, and God, may somebody out there 
need you as Lord and Savior. We'll give you all the praise in Jesus' name and amen. Come on, Tim. All righty, thank you. Good to be back with you this evening, and I have to say, hello, Polly. How are you doing this evening? And uh, Tom and Junior, I hope you are watching. Uh, it's good to be back with you this evening and uh, get into the Word. And if you have your Bibles, I'm going to be uh, reading from the 17th chapter of uh, St. Matthew. <clears throat> and this is a well-known passage about uh, transfiguration. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, what a blessing it is to uh, look at this and just see that uh, the many messages, I said there's uh, each passage of Scripture, uh, depending on uh, how God uh, puts it on your mind, uh, just to think about it all day. And, uh, you know, this here is uh, a special time that God had uh, sent Christ into the mountain once again to pray and that He had uh, taken... Uh, that inner circle with him, James and Peter and John, and uh, you know they had went to the mountains to to pray. And what a uh, wonderful time, you know, as we think about uh, the time we have to share with Christ and be alone. And I hope that each and every one of you uh, take time throughout the busy day to uh, get alone with Christ, and uh, whether it's on a high mountain or a, a low valley, but... Uh, wherever you're at, to take time to uh, uh, open your heart and mind up to what Christ has for us. So uh, the 17th chapter of St. Matthew, the Bible says, And after six days Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine a sun, and his raiment was white as light. And behold, there appeared with them Moses and Elias, talking with him. Then after, Peter said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here thee a tabernacle, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were sore afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. And his disciples answered him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias is, already, is come already. And they knew uh, him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you've uh, uh, sent this word to us, Lord, us, uh, uh, that we can hide it in our heart, that we might not sin against you until this evening, God. We just pray for those that are out there this evening, that your Holy Spirit will just uh, instill it in their hearts, God. Give them ears to hear and, and the heart to hear, Lord, your word. And we love you this evening and thank you for all those that are... Uh, out there this evening to hear your word. We praise you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know what a blessing. Uh, Schofield goes in and said, uh, you know, this is transfiguration is a picture of the future kingdoms. And he goes into a, a different thing about how each one uh, stands for uh, the kingdom of Israel and the uh, Israel uh, uh, modern day and the people with... Uh, the people that were uh, in the future 
to uh, be accepted into the kingdom. And I'm so glad tonight that, uh, you know, God had a plan that, uh, you know, even in this uh, ones that we see here that are here in Moses, that, uh, you know, he uh, uh, sent Moses on a little uh, old uh, raft down and a lady found him uh, in the uh, river there and uh, took him up and raised him uh, in the king's house. And we know the story of how... Uh, he came uh, to uh, know all the ways of Egypt, and yet he left one day and uh, God uh, sent him into the wilderness and prepared him to uh, go and to uh, face Pharaoh and to deliver the uh, people from uh, Egypt and to take them into a land where they would uh, uh, have milk and honey. And we know that uh, the law was given there to Moses, and if you remember on the mountain how... Uh, uh, great it was when he went there and that uh, he uh, was uh, in a cloud and the Lord uh, chiseled out the Ten Commandments on the stone. And and uh, what a blessing it was. But when he'd come back, they had set up the golden calf and began to worship just a short period. It took these people to uh, stray away and see that Moses had gone. And so he represented a, a certain... A group of people, and Elias there, it's a prophet. You know what a great prophet he was. I love to read the stories about uh, uh, Elijah, that he would uh, come uh, in a time there uh, when uh, King Ahab had uh, brought in uh, uh, foreign uh, women and brought their religions as a different type of people and allowed them to set up their uh, 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 idols there to worship within the kingdom, and he knew better than this, but yet uh, he had uh, allowed this to come in and uh, slowly take a foothold. And you know that uh, what the uh, story about the uh, uh, prophets of Baal and how that uh, uh, Elijah had come down and uh, told him that uh, there would be a, a drought, and uh, there was a drought, and he had to go hide from... Uh, Ahab and Jezebel and you know the story about uh, how he challenged the prophets of Baal to uh, uh, if their God was true then uh, let's sacrifice and let them call down fire from heaven and, and consume the offering upon that and you know how that uh, uh, they spent the day crying out for their God to come down and to light the fire and to consume the the sacrifice that was laid out and they cut themselves and and he kind of made fun of them of how uh, maybe they were asleep they needed to get loud and and uh, do uh, some things out of the ordinary you know to uh, get their attention but we know that uh, their gods was just as good as the uh, uh, rock that they had carved them out of that that's all they were is just a a piece of rock that God had formed from the very beginning and we know that uh, when they had finished, that uh, uh, Elijah went out and called upon the God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when God sent down fire and uh, not only uh, consumed a sacrifice, but even the stones that was there, and how that uh, they, uh, man, just all of a sudden, all the people said, we're going to serve God, the God of of uh, Elijah and how they uh, took the prophets of Baal and and uh, killed them and you know uh, you would have thought they would have turned and served God Almighty but at what they didn't it was just a short time and so uh, Elijah represents uh, uh, the prophets and those and we love to uh, look because God used these men mightily and if you read about them they weren't uh, you know, super uh, man. They was Moses was just brought up, and he did uh, things wrong. Elijah, you know, even though after he'd done this, that he'd called uh, fire from heaven, and God had sent it, and and he was on top. That Jezebel uh, sent for his head, and he run and hid. And you know, uh, he was just like you and I, but yet God used him mightily. And what a blessing it is to see. The three that had come with him, it was uh, Peter, James, and John, that he had called them out, you know, as uh, fishermen, and that he had called them just uh, ordinary people, but he had called them to do a great works. And, you know, here it said that uh, they'd 
come come up on the mountain and in another uh, gospel it says that uh, they went there to pray and uh, if you study the uh, walk of Jesus Christ many times he sought solitude to get alone and to pray to God and to seek him to strengthen him and you know he le does that for an example for you and I that you know we need to uh, uh, pray and fast and seek God's uh, uh, today, just the same as uh, they did back then. And, you know, when they got up on the mountain, they seen these, and I always wondered, you know, how they uh, recognized them, that, you know, the face and uh, the garments of Christ just uh, uh, glistened, I think, that uh, they uh, knew right away that He was truly the Son of God and that uh, uh, they recognized Moses and Elijah and... Uh, they wanted to build a tabernacle there, a, a building that they could uh, come back there and remember this time. But you know, uh, in this, uh, he told them no, that uh, they wasn't going to build that, that uh, there was a cloud come uh, down upon them. And it overshadowed everything there. And God spoke to them and told them this is their beloved son's uh, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. And that's uh, what I want to tell you tonight, that, you know, Jesus Christ was truly the Son of God. He proved it in the many miracles that he did, that no other man could have uh, uh, done the works he done, did, and thus God was with him. But, you know, he proved it when... Uh, they laid him in the old grave, that they pronounced him dead, and uh, they said that uh, he would uh, lie in a grave with the rich, and that's ex just exactly what he did. And they put him in there, but he wasn't there for good. And, you know, he rose from the dead, and you can uh, uh, search history and see that, uh, you know, this truly happened, and that uh, God had a plan, and in that that his very own son would give his own life, his life's blood, for the sins of the world. And you know that it tells us in Hebrews that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And that today, the wrongs that I've done, the wrongs that you've done, are written in a book. Someone has to pay for him, and that one, if you call, and call upon him and ask him as Jesus Christ, that he give his life willingly that you and I would be uh, uh, sinless, that we could be presented back to God sinless just as he was. And I'm so thankful tonight that uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should call upon him, uh, you know, will have eternal life. And so tonight I would tell you that uh, this is the same Jesus that I preached to you that Peter, James, and John went on the mountain, that He is not uh, dead, that He is still living. He sits on the right hand of God making intercession for those that will call upon Him. And tonight I'm uh, praying that if there would be someone out there tonight that uh, whatever... Uh, shape you're in that you know a lot of people think they have to uh, get right and, and then they'll come before God but I can tell you you'll never be right uh, our very best we have to offer is as filthy rags the Bible says tonight we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and I can tell you there is none righteous no not one but I can tell you it says though my sins be as scarlet which they are I can be white as snow. When I asked Christ to save my soul, the blood that was given on Calvary's cross was given to me. It was applied on my heart. And when God looks upon me, He sees the atoning blood that Christ did. And I'm so glad tonight that uh, Christ was willing to die for an old sinner like me. But here, you know, when He told him that... Uh, they could not make a tabernacle. He just blew it aside. I think many times that, you know, we get comfortable in our churches today that we, uh, you know, get ready on Sunday morning and go out and spend a couple hours there in the praise and worship and we hear a sermon and we think, well, man, we've done good this week. I'll see you next Sunday. But, you know, He didn't want them to stay on the mountain. 
if you read on uh, down there in 14, it says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son. See, if they'd have stayed on the mountain and stayed in the tabernacle, there was a multitude down below. And You know, I tell you many times that uh, church is a great thing that Hebrews tells us to not forsake the assembling of us together and that if you don't uh, get in a, a Bible-believing body and study together and pray for one another, there's power in, in numbers. And God said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be in your midst. You know, there's power in that. But I can tell you, we go to church to strengthen the body, to lift one another up. But then we need to go out in the highways and the byways and to take the gospel down and we need to uh, feed the hungry and we need to uh, pray for those that are in need tonight. What a uh, wonderful thing it is that you and I uh, have the calling of taking the gospel of Jesus Christ that you know uh, I don't have anything special but the gospel does that God has called me to uh, uh, take the gospel of Jesus Christ and Him crucified. You know, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It's a simple statement, but you know there's a lot of people that never have heard about it. And a lot of times they need to hear a testimony of how Jesus Christ saved their someone's soul. And I can tell you tonight that uh, I'm no different than anybody else. I come one uh, day and I had to acknowledge that I was a sinner. I got up out of a pew and I went down to an altar of prayer and I kneeled down. And even though there may have been a hundred people or 150 people there that night, I don't remember. But I can tell you, Jesus knew my name personally. I confessed my sins to Him. Told him I was a sinner and I was sorry for the sins that I'd committed. If he would come in and and uh, live in my heart, that I would uh, recognize him as Lord. And when we do that, you know, we get changed. That's why Christ didn't want him to stay on the mountain. He wanted him to take that gospel down and minister to the people. And that's the message that I want to tell you tonight. You. M- uh, may have been saved and you're comfortable that hey I've Lord has saved my soul but I don't need to uh, make a big issue about it or or shout to the world that hey Jesus Christ changed my heart but I'm telling you that God expects us to get up and to take the message to those he doesn't command the people to come out of the world and come into the church but he commands us to go ye therefore into the world preaching the gospel. And tonight, you and I, as Christians, have a responsibility to take this gospel that was given there that day. The gospel that Moses never seen, but he looked forward to. You know, well, what a a great promise that is to you and I that Moses stood on the mountain there in the promised land and because he had disobeyed God, he never got a step into the promised land and received the the beauty of uh, the the grapes and see him carried in by the uh, shoulders of the men, or to see the uh, beautiful land that was there uh, in the promised land. But I can tell you, we read here that Moses got to come in one day. This was uh, right outside of uh, uh, Jerusalem there. And I can tell you today that I'm the same way, that I've never been to Israel, but I know if I don't go there in this lifetime, hey, there's coming a time that Christ says that we're going to be called into uh, uh, heaven and we're going to be judged according to our works. Not according to salvation, but our works that we do. That if we're uh, judged according to that and we're going to be placed in an army and it says that Uh, he's coming back one day and he's going to stand on the Mount of Olives and it's going to split. And when he stands there, it's going to... uh, says there in Revelations that the saints are coming with him. 
And I can tell you tonight, though uh, my sins be as scarlet, I can tell you that I'm a saint in God's eyes and that I'll uh, be coming with Him one day. And what a joy it is in my heart to tell you, you know, that uh, an old sinner from up at Queens, West Virginia can be given eternal life, a home in heaven with Jesus Christ is beyond my wildest dream. But today I can tell you it's true because He lives in my heart today and He loves me. And I can tell you He loves you tonight. If you don't know Him as Lord and Savior, I would tell you that life is not a given. Today you may be here. Tomorrow you may not. If you're here in the sound of my voice and have never confessed your sin and asked Christ to come into your heart, I would tell you to, to do that tonight. If you'd like someone to pray with you, you can call in tonight and we'd be glad to pray with you. Thank you and good night.